Hi, um, I'm, um, Urban Arts, one, and I'm continuing with the collected editions I started yesterday, um, with Death of the Family, Batgirl, wrong issue, starting with the side stories that, um, will be th throughout the course of the week. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I, c I can't get um, any of the any of these books done in one or two little things. Anywho, um, Batgirl, issue 13. Um, Batgirl is one of the better, um, side stories. Um, Because some of the side stories weren't that great. But Batgirl is one of my favourites. Um, it's actually my second favourite um, of the storylines with the death of the family, apart from the main. Um, Bat in Batgirl issue 13... Um, Batgirl, this Batgirl issue 13 acts as a prologue to Death of the Family. Um, some might say, was it really necessary to add prologues? Um, personally, I don't think it was necessary. I think they could have easily have introduced it in issue 14 and it would have been fine. But I'll get to that in my con conclusion. Um, so in Batgirl issue 13, Batgirl faces Nightfall. Now, Nightfall is a character who tries to be a sort of an anti-hero of Gotham. She kills criminals, um, and we learn in this issue, she learned how to do so by learning from the best, the Arkham Asylum inmates. Um, and Nightfall has a very, very terrible past, and... The Nightfall story arc is pretty, pretty interesting. So, I don't know why I just did that. I'm bad girl. I'm bleeding. Bleeding. I will defeat your Nightfall because I'm bad girl. Sorry. <laughs> Nightfall um, tells Batgirl that um, Batman and Bar and Barbara, along with sorry, Batgirl in blah, blah, blah. Nightfall indirectly says to Batgirl that Batman and the sidekicks are. The protectors of Gotham, which is sort of what um, the Joker is trying. In the death of the family, the Joker is saying that the sidekicks are, um, you know, the sidekicks were chosen by Batman. 
that Batman is the true protector of Gotham. Um, and that the psychics are responsible for ensuring the safety of their people. So, but the Joker saying that Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin, those characters do not have that right. It's Batman who is the true defender of Gotham. And the only relation that this comic has with the death of the family is the end. Again, why do I keep doing that? And um, the end is where Barbara's mother gets kidnapped by the Joker, which leads us into issue 14. In issue 14, Barbara learns from an unknown caller who we learn is actually Barbara's brother, James Gordon which has been building up throughout um, the Batgirl run. <clears throat> um, James Gordon reveals to Batgirl that, um, that the Joker has returned and And Batgirl goes to face him. He goes to defeat um, the Joker at a skate ring. Which, do skate rings still exist anymore? I really want to know. If skate rings still exist, comment below. It interests me. Um, and the the, the blah, blah, blah. the Joker has um Barbara's mother strapped to a chair with a nail bomb stuck under the chair. And, um, anyone who goes a certain distance, this bomb will explode, killing Barbara's mother and a lot of Joker's goons, as well as Barbara herself. Excuse me. I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, my niece is getting a house built. It's crazy. Um, so, yes. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, Alicia, um, Barbara's roommate is actually in league with James Gordon. And she gets James Gordon to help Barbara. In issue 15, um, Barbara tries to dissect um, the Joker's reasonings behind him marrying her. Like, in issue 14, the Joker gives Barbara's mother, no, gives Barbara her mother's finger with a ring on it and proposes to her. So, in issue 15, 
Barbara has to deal with her own inner darkness. Because this is a man who has given her a lot of hell. Like, he paralyzed her. You know. You know, he paralyzed her. She couldn't, couldn't walk. She couldn't do a number of things that people who can walk enjoy, like walking out on a beach, for example. Um, I got the impression that Barbara is very, very scared of the Joker and her, imp and her impulses.